So growing up in the barracks was very, <laughs> it's really very, was an exciting part of my life mm -hmm. because um, several things. Yes. So you go to you go to primary school. Uh -huh. uh, typically, yeah. the things you get in the barracks. Yeah. Uh, one is uh, there's always a parade on Saturdays. On you know? Saturday mornings. Yes, yeah, Saturday mornings. Yes. The soldiers are always parading. Yes. And they're practicing. Yeah. So as kids, uh -huh. you know. All Saturday morning, you would go for parade. Mm -hmm. And so you memorize all the songs, you mm -hmm. know, the mm -hmm. military songs. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is that on, in the military, there's normally movies that are shown on Saturdays. Oh, okay. So uh, Saturday is a busy day, right? It's a busy day. Yeah. And so, um, as you can imagine, yeah. obviously, my bro did not want me to attend the movies. Are they not child friendly or are they? Well, you should be at home revising. Okay, right, <laughs> right. A lot right. of them are also, you know, yes, yeah. military strategies and other things. Yes. So what I do is that uh, uh, they need. So I will. I knew the following morning they would need bread and milk. Mm -hmm. And bread in the shop used to be brought by a truck in the evening. At the Afco. Yes. Uh -huh. So then I would leave uh, in the evening. I would say, let's say about six. I'm going to go for milk and bread. Mm -hmm. But then, because they don't know what time to come, mm. then of course I'll go to the shop. Mm -hmm. But guess who would pass on the way to the shop? <laughs> <laughs> to the movies. Of course, of course. Go <laughs> so watch a movie, yeah. then go and get the meal. Sometimes yeah. I'll go and get the meal and bread and pass with them. That was funny. So every day, I would always. Yeah. yeah. So I would get caught beaten many mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. because I knew this guy has been to some other things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was was um, was food always cheaper uh, in the barracks? Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course, you know, it is cheap. Yeah. And uh, so we uh, go shopping in Afco. Yeah. Uh, I think my first Christmas gift was a toy pistol. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. those are the presents you get. Yeah, in yeah. Another thing that I remember that was memorable was, um, you know, the 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 barrack, the garrison has got uh, barbed wire. Yes. And uh, as kids, of course, you are you are supposed to stay within the, the garrison. Mm -hmm. But across 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 Kao barrack is Gidurai. Yes, it is. And the guys there used to plant a lot of nice washes. Mm -hmm. So you know what we do is that uh, would go through the barbed wire, which is supposed to be guarded by armed security. Oh, <laughs> Kids go, are there. Yes. Go across the fence, dig out the dumas, and go be chased them. by some kikuyo old men with pangas. Come back and come back the, the fence. Oh. Crawling. Oh. That would be imagining you're in, <laughs> in the Iraq somehow is gunfire come to you. <laughs> Prisoner of war is yeah. camping. You yeah. know, you might be thinking that way, you come back to the military. Yeah. And then you, you put together and start this. Oh right. Oh. Yeah. And then the I, I think I've had stories and I've seen a bit of that where there's also yeah. food in tins and yes. uh, ah. pineapple and, and uh, uh, beans yes. and, and those cooked yes. biscuits that have those yes. yeah. biscuits in salt. Was yes. that the kind of life that you guys had? Yeah, absolutely. See, um in the military what happens mm -hmm. is that you're supposed to get uh, now it may have changed now. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it was every Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. you would go and get free rations. Rations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the rations would constitute of uh, bread, mm -hmm. uh, milk, mm -hmm. it, there would be meat, mm -hmm. there would be packed uh, beef, mm -hmm. biscuits. Mm -hmm. So you knew uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you go and get your rations. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of, yeah, like those biscuits, you know, the hard ones, yeah. you know, they're very tough ones. Yeah. Yeah, those ones were good. I think both those twice a week. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What's the experience of yeah. getting raised at the at the, at the barracks yeah. doing to you though now as a young man? You yeah. Know, as you reflect back. Yeah. What's that kind of exposure and yeah and uh, upbringing? Yeah. Doing how is it shaping you and your own uh, set of values mm. and also your own kind of personality? Yeah. And views. Yeah. Uh, at, at that time. Yeah, you know, just like everybody else, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you first, of course, it is when growing up and uh, knowing that previously your family was wealthy, yeah. and then you're born into this family that is more wealth. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the first thought is that uh, God, mm -hmm. this is a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. How come 
my older siblings who are more fortunate to have more wealth. Mm. But you know, um, we'll probably talk a bit about this later. You know, um, I got one of the guys who uh, got to mentor me mm -hmm. was uh, when I was with the Navigators, mm -hmm. was a gentleman called Paul Stanley. Mm -hmm. Paul Stanley mm -hmm. was, uh, was the Navigator International Vice President. Mm -hmm. So I was overseeing many countries, mm -hmm. but when he came to Kenya and I worked with the Navigators, mm -hmm. um, he, we, we, he's, he's got this very strong leadership. Mm -hmm. And sort of, we, 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 our chemistry really, you know, we got a good chemistry together. Mm -hmm. So he began mentoring me. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things, now, now he was, uh, he had been a major in the military also. Right. He was a, a, a green beret. Mm -hmm. He was a ranger, actually. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that, um, you know, Paul uh, mentioned in one of the talks, mm -hmm. he said that, you know, God takes you through different stages, through different ages. Mm -hmm. And um, in your 20s, mm -hmm. the primary question is, who am I? Mm -hmm. And so what you need is to be exposed to different experiences mm -hmm. so that you can understand who you are. Right. You know, mm -hmm. like for example, uh, for me, one of those, I joined the Nairobi Baptist Choir, mm -hmm. I realized mm -hmm. this really seriously i can't say mm -hmm. but it was a necessary experience mm -hmm. you so in the 20s you do many things mm -hmm. so that you can know what you're good at mm -hmm. and what you are not good at mm -hmm. in the 30s mm -hmm. your primary question is what is my spiritual gift mm -hmm. because you know that time you get married you mm -hmm. start kids you, mm -hmm. you get promoted so you realize you cannot really start survive by gifting alone mm -hmm. there has to be a focus on what is what are you really good at mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, partly in terms of your skills, mm -hmm. but also in terms of spiritual makeup. Mm -hmm. So then you begin dropping what you're not good at mm -hmm. and begin focusing on your spiritual gifting. Mm -hmm. And the spiritual gifting are those things that you do mm -hmm. and everybody goes, wow, yeah, how do you do this? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, it's so easy. I mean, mm -hmm. why is second that nature. a it's second nature? Mm -hmm. But it's just that uh, it's the way we're wired. Mm -hmm. It's just that thing that Sonny Maxi who does that mm -hmm. and all of us are amazed. Mm -hmm. And you were thinking that mm. should be easy. Mm. Uh, in the 40s, mm. uh, then one big thing about their bigger legacy, mm -hmm. uh, you realize you've got a short time on earth mm. and you're gonna focus on uh, you know, what are you gonna be behind. Mm. Then in the 50s, uh, it is it is more of the age of the sage. Mm. You know, things begin coming together. Mm. You begin seeing why was I born in this family? Mm. Why is one so my brother? Mm -hmm. Things that you thought were disadvantages, mm -hmm. you realize actually mm -hmm. God very intentionally uh, brought you into the world in that context. Mm -hmm. So for me, the military, mm -hmm. when I look back, I mean, I look at uh, at that time. Yeah, at that yeah. time. Yeah. Who have been my heroes? Mm. Or mm. Paul Stanley, who mm. mentored me from Navigators. Mm. He was, he was, um, he was a ranger yeah. in the U.S. military. Mm. In fact, when he invited me to the U.S. and asked me, "Mike, you're coming to the U.S. to mm. visit me. Mm. What's the one thing you'd like to, to see?" Mm. I said, "You can take me to a military air base like Colorado oh, wow. wow. <laughs> So he took me to Colorado Springs mm. at the military air base, mm. you know, to see you know mm. the, the latest mm. warfare planes. Mm. Uh, also, one of the people who mentored me uh, through a reading mm. was Colin Paul, mm. who mm. was the chief of mm. staff. Mm. So I like his book, four of them of mm. the same set and so mm. forth. Mm. Uh, by the time I was in uh, secondary school, mm. I could tell you all the countries in the world, mm. how many inter inter -ballistic, intercontinental ballistic missiles they had, mm. how many tanks, mm. how many, you know, every single warfare, soldiers. So a lot of what yeah. Your entire being brought up in the military phase, yes. yeah, it shaped who you look up to. Yes, to be yeah very in the military space. In the military space, in the to yeah. be to be heroic soldiers. Yes, one of the things yeah. you might you might mention it much later is that yeah. a lot of people who know you from and just like yes will remember that even the movie. Yes, that you used to use and show <laughs> exactly from I yeah. Choose Life was also, yeah. you know, I, yeah, uh, very much yes. like it's a movie, yes. with a yeah. military hero, yes. <laughs> yes. So it's it actually totally then shaped how your life then would, you know, like a lot of the people you look up to, to yes. be very yes. much in the military context, the ones that they'll look up, mm -hmm. and then if the programs have developed, they choose life, and also what you then would come to do later, and yes. how you do it, yes, all right. 
because right now the current peer indicators, you remember uh, earlier we said it was peer indicators. Yes. But now the current peer indicators we call them seals. Seals. Named after the seals. 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 All right. So we'll come. Yes. We we'll, we'll come and yeah. connect all of that. Right. Let's let's continue yeah. with yeah. with the story. So yeah. um so you're in primary school yeah. at the at the Kahara Garrison. Yeah. That's where you are doing your primary school. Yeah. What what years are these and what when when do you start when you finish? So I need to walk backwards. I went to Form One in 1977. Mm -hmm. So meaning then, so yes, you did seven years in seven primary. Years, yes. Seven years yeah. in primary. Yeah. All right. So yeah. that 76 is when you are finishing. Uh, yeah. Something. Class seven. seven. Class seven. Yes. Uh, you are doing. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you graduate from uh, well. Complete class yes. seven yeah. uh, at at Kaha, yes. Kaha Garrison. Yes. Um, and those are the kind of memories that you have there. Then yeah. where did you go to high school? So high school I go to Staraya, Staraya Boys Center. Eish, you're a statue. <laughs> <one. Yeah. laughs> 